Okay, a viewer wanted to know how well this would hold up to splashing and water. Well, look at this. We've got a heavy storm today with lightning. So we're gonna do a little test on this. This has been going for 14 seconds right now. I'm gonna do this for, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Pull it out of the rain. Real world conditions right here. And oh, 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 yeah. Woo! Oh, check that out. <laughs> All right. Let's see how long this works. 36 seconds. <laughs> that was good stuff. Yeah, you know the zippers, where the zippers are, there's no cover for it. So we know water's going to leak in there, and there's a grommet hole at the bottom. So I suspect uh, it'll leak in there. But considering this is a canvas nylon combination, I am curious to see how well it will repel or, you know, uh, water repel. And this has no water coating on it whatsoever, like DWR coating or anything. So let's see how well it does. All right, it's been going for one minute. 13, 14, 15 seconds. Let's check it out. Oh, this weather's gorgeous. This is lightning really bad. We got emergency warnings and everything on this. It's nice. All right, but back to the task at hand. First, let's check the sunglasses pocket. Fairly dry. Very little moisture. Okay, cool. Inside here is so far, I want to say perfectly dry. Oh yeah, if you see that flash on the camera, that's lightning. Inside here is dry. I got a glove in here. Um, I feel very, very, very little moisture. So you know what we're gonna do? Let's take it out one more time. Let's do it for like another minute or so. So the first time, first iteration was 1 minute 15 seconds, it's held up pretty well in this really, really bad weather. So that's pretty good if you're stuck outside and you, you know, give you a minute 15 seconds to give you a chance to get some shelter. So what if we push it to like, you know, 2 minutes, right? 2 minutes 30 seconds. Yeah, now the rain's gonna good a little bit harder. Five, four, three, two, one. So here's the result. I pop this open. There's a little bit of water down here. You might be able to see through this. Which is to be expected because it was sitting on the ground. Okay. So that's okay. That was kind of like expected. Yeah, it's definitely that water came up through that grommet hole there. Uh, let's zip that back up real quick. We got the sunglass compartment, which stayed dry amazingly. I can't see any wetness and wet spots here. So that was good news. And you see around here where it's getting wet. So that means it seeped into the uh, zipper here. Uh, so I had this for about two and a half minutes total. Totally improvised, this was in the library and I saw the storm outside and took advantage of it. And of course you're gonna need some water and all that stuff through here, but, and there'll be a little bit of water in here too. Check out this compartment. Wow, look at that, amazing. This did okay. This did okay. So I want to thank my viewer who suggested that I would go ahead and do a water test on this backpack. Because like I said, I want to take your input and see how you want me to test this backpack. So as far as the splashing goes, 
ring resistance go. That was real world. And I hope you enjoy it. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Out. Okay, a little bonus footage for you. So I walked from this building here over to that building there. One trip there, went inside, came back out in this rain. So now, not only did I have my little rain test for a couple minutes over there, but having to actually go outside in this mess, here's the real world splash, you know, water test on this thing. Don't even have to use my shower on this one. Let's see how it worked again. Oh yeah, this one's a little more damp. Oh yeah, you can't see it on camera. Let's see if I can get some lighting, that might help. Can't see it on camera, but I can definitely, the blackness here is uh, definitely wet. My cleaning rag here, you know, for like my camera cleaning towel here is wet, for sure. Just a little, I mean, it's not absolutely terrible. But I think one thing is, I'm confirming in this, um, this is again a nylon canvas combination. See, or C PVC, I was what I'm really trying to say. This has a canvas, you know, that's what the manufacturer called it. 600 to near canvas but inside it does have a little bit of that PVC coating so you put those two together that's your water resistance uh, in here it is wet right here again nothing new pointed that out the two-minute test down below nothing okay a uh, little bit of water right there of course it's so wet in this car now it <laughs> could have been for me dripping so actually that's not bad really I mean that's actually pretty good you know, so what I was trying to say was, this is not something you want to go hiking in the rain with, okay? And that's something that people misunderstood when they talk about water resistance and stuff. They think that you can take something like this, go walk, you know, do two miles in the rain, it'll be okay. No, that's waterproof. Water resistance will at least repel some of the water for a short term. So, if you're again, let's look at this real world condition. You're in the parking lot and you have to go from building A to B or maybe get shelter somewhere on your hiking trip for a couple minutes it should hold up okay now right here you got water seepage it's hard to show in the you know my car sorry about that but I do you maybe you can see the shine you got the water seepage right there kind of normal again there's no see how there's no cover over these zippers so it's going to seep in through the gloves are a little more soaked but, all right, I just wanted to show that to you. I think really for short term, it held up okay. But this is not something I'd want, I mean, you've seen the video, this is how messy this is. Five minutes in this and you're gonna get soaked. But if you can just stay out for a couple minutes, get yourself some shelter, this backpack should be good to go to help keep your stuff reasonably dry. And remember also, as a consumer, now your back pocket here, if you have a like a computer or something, that is going to be against your back and that will give it a little extra layer of protection so it's going to be harder to get this dry but if, again if you got that computer you're worried about and this is monsoon season in korea see all this lovely rain right here do not you may want to get a case for it just uh you know so you can properly prepare but for a short but from here inside there nah if i had a computer in there i wouldn't even worry about it thanks for watching this have a great one out